Yo, what's good? What's good? It's the one, the only, but what do I know? Boxing back at you with the press. I mean, well, with uh, post weigh in. All right, both guys weighed in, both guys made weight. Da da this, da da that, man. Listen, we got to fight tomorrow. So it's time to give my final prediction. Let's give my final prediction. So what I've been, I've been studying this, man. I've been studying these two. Um, and, and this, I've been going, it's kind of, this fight is not as easy uh, as people try to make it out to be for Canelo. I really, I really believe that. This fight is a tough fight for uh, for Canelo. Um, Bibble is the taller, longer range of fighter, and he knows how to use his distance. And I keep stressing to people, controlling range is the key to success. And, um, I'm very interested, and he's better on his feet than Canelo. He is. Bivol is better on his feet than Canelo is. So I'm interested to see how Canelo is going to get on the inside. I'm interested to see how Canelo is going to um, neutralize and cut the distance between uh, Bivol. We don't know. I, I, we don't necessarily know know Canelo for um, having fast feet. He doesn't have fast feet. Um, but I want to see how he's going to chop. Normally, Canelo has been in a... Recently, as of recently, Canelo has been in this walk-you-down stage. But I don't think that's, just, that's going to come into play with a fighter like Bivol. Bivol being much bigger, I don't think that Canelo's going to be able to walk, walk him down. I'm interested to see how Canelo is going to be able to double jab, maybe double jab, shorten, cut that distance in half, and, and, and get on the inside... It's just going to be, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's an interesting matchup to me. That's why I've been going back and forth on it. Okay. Canelo, all, all, I mean, obviously being the more experienced fighter, Canelo being the uh, more, the, the fighter that has more tools in his army or in his arsenal, should I say. Uh, Bivol is a, is a one-two type guy. Doesn't really, uh, he, he relies on his one-two a lot. Very good one-two, but he relies on it a lot. Um... I just, I, I don't, I was having troubles going back and forth, but I think that what, what I feel like is going to happen is it, it might be a tell of two halves where Bivol has success in the first five rounds, first four, five rounds, but Canelo then starts to adjust and take over. I think, and I'm, I'm this is just my opinion, but I have Canelo winning. 115, 113, seven rounds to five. Should there be no knockdowns? 115, 113. That's that's a that's my opinion. That's that's a it, this is a tough fight in my opinion. If Canelo, now I'm gonna say this too. If Canelo just walks through Bivol like this ain't shit, somebody is getting removed out of my top ten of all time, bro, because. That means that, that Canelo is obviously at either at a different level than what I even expected or that, well, you know, the rest. Um, I just don't see this being an easy fight for Canelo. I don't see it being an easy fight for Canelo. I don't see Canelo just walking through Bivol. Um, Bivol is a much bigger guy. The way that, the way that Canelo has been boxing lately with Callum Smith, Billy Joe Saunders and Caleb Plant, he's just been walking them down. Just walking them down. Uh, not having to really um, cut distance between them because he's walking them down. Uh, Caleb Plant, none of them are known for power, okay? So, you know, he's not really had to do anything to chop the distance in half. He's not really had to finesse his way on the inside. He's just been able to keep, get that high guard and and actually counter you in to come in, like to come on the inside, just for basically to walk you down. So I don't necessarily see, I, I, but I don't I don't see Canelo having that success with Bivol. Bivol being a much bigger guy. Bivol having a much stronger jab. Bivol has been in there with the guy, with the likes of David Benavidez. David Benavidez even said how strong Bivol's jab is, bro. Like Bivol is one, two. Actually, he said his right hand is is very very strong as well. So I don't necessarily I don't know how Bivol I don't know I don't necessarily know how Bivol is going to uh, or I don't know how Canelo is going to get on the inside of Bivol. But if he does win, if and when, well, when he does, because I'm more than sure Canelo's gonna have it. He's gonna, you know, he he has Canelo does have good upper body movement, but. 
that's where I think Bivol's downfall is. I don't think Bivol, I kind of think Bivol is, is, is not exactly like, but, uh, but he kind of, he's kind of like a fresher, again, hear me out on this. He's not exactly, not, their styles are not exactly alike, but he is, he kind of is similar to a fresher Kovalev, where Kovalev can box you from a distance. But if you cut that distance and you get on the inside, Kovalev doesn't have much for you. Kovalev doesn't like when you're on the inside. And I kind of feel the same way with Bivol. I think once Canelo, and then Canelo was also able to walk uh, Kovalev down only because Kovalev was not throwing any mean meaningful shots in that fight. I don't care what anybody says. If you go watch Canelo versus Kovalev, that fight looked fixed. Like, I, I just, like, that fight, I don't, I, for the life of me, I couldn't understand why Kovalev was not throwing any power shots, any meaningful shots. He was like pity patting with, with Canelo. But, so Canelo was able to walk Kovalev down too for the most part. Um, But my whole point of bringing up Kovalev is because Kovalev doesn't like to fight on the inside. Bivol, I don't think can fight, well, is, it does not like to fight to be on the inside as well. I think Bivol needs that, uh, he 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 needs that um that distance between the two. So maybe Canelo walks him into uh, I mean uh, ch cuts the ring off, traps him. Get it, I mean it's best to get him on the ropes, right? Um, but I don't I I mean should he get on the inside? I think Bibble has issues. I think Canelo has more success on the inside. Canelo's already the shorter fighter, anyways. But that doesn't mean much because Canelo is shorter than a lot of guys that he's fought. So this is going to be interesting for me, bro. I don't think that this is going to be an uh, 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 easy fight. I don't think this is going to be an easy fight at all for Canelo. But, um, you know, it, it is what it is. I'm, I'm excited. I'm ready to see it. Um... Now, one thing that we haven't talked about is what if Bibble wins? A lot of people talk about the possibility of Canelo winning, but what if Bibble wins? We know if Canelo wins, he's moving back down to 68 to fight Triple G. But what if Bibble wins? Do we then get a rematch? Do we then get under a uh, 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 um? It would it be for undisputed? Yeah, it would. Yeah, it would be uh, for undisputed against a fight with uh, Archer Better Beef. If should Archer Better Beef get past Joe Smith, which I think he will, I think he will. But what happens if Bivol wins? So you know, or is it a rematch with Canelo, or does Canelo just don't come, not campaign at 175? You know, I just I think that this is a um, an interesting match. It's, it's an interesting possibility. Again, but you know, I, that's if Bivol should he pull it off. Now, should Canelo pull pull it off like, again? We know he's gonna fight Triple G. Um, that's an interesting. I mean, I, I mean that's that's cool. Uh, it's it's interesting, but it's not as entertaining as it once would have been because I think we all know that Triple G is not uh, the the Triple G that we that we uh, saw coming up. He's forty years old. But again, you know, you just never know in the sport of boxing. Um, but I, I'm overall, bro, I'm excited for this fight. I have Canelo winning seven rounds to five, 115 and 113. Should there be no knockdowns? Um, and, and I, I mean, that's, 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 yeah, that's my prediction. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think, man. Let me know, um, who you got winning. What would you like to see from either fight, either fight next? I guess it's safe to say that Canelo's going to stick with the zone, but, you know, whatever it is, what it is. Um, regardless, bro, it, this is this is definitely a, a entertaining matchup. I think I do feel like um, Canelo does get a lot of slack, and rightfully so. He does bring it on himself a lot of times. But I think for this fight right here, I think that uh, Canelo should def definitely be getting the praise. He should be getting praise for this fight, bro. This is, I want, I called for this fight uh, when he first moved up to fight Kovalev. I was, I stated, like, after that fight, I was like, you know, I'll be more impressed if Canelo fights uh, Bivol and beats Bivol or whatnot. And, and you know, I, I, I stick to my words, bro. Um, should Canelo win this fight fair and square? He gets all credit from me. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. Drop your predictions. What do you want to see from each fighter? What do you think each fighter should do? What are your keys for vic to victory for each fighter? But hey, what do I know?